In this episode, you'll learn about recording remotely. And what I mean is you're being recorded from your location by somebody not in the room, but over the internet. With the recent happenings in the world, a lot of the workforce are having to work from home right now. Recording remotely will soon become the norm. So here's the most important show you will ever see ever anywhere. Today, there's lots of humans trying to find out ways to record themselves and each other while staying safe and practicing social distancing. Today, I'm going to show you a workflow that'll get you working in a simple system and a few tips for the voice artist who are doing this for the first time. After this show, you should be up and running within the hour. Firstly, you'll need a mic and you'll need to be able to get the mic signal into a computer with an internet access. You can use the best USB mic you can afford or plug any decent mic into an audio interface. You'll also need good headphones. Please don't use your phone unless you're plugging in a quality mic like a Rode IXY or for an actual microphone, the Rode IXLR. Check out the Perfecting Audio playlist on how to get going with mics and audio interfaces. Check out the links below. It's one thing having a mic. It's quite another being able to use it. Here are some serious pointers you have to keep in mind when using your mic. Firstly, location, location, location. Where are you recording yourself? You really need to take yourself out of your usual view of your house or your apartment. Listen to where you intend to record with good headphones before you start the session with your remote client. You'll notice lots of noises in that familiar space that you would never have heard of on an ordinary day. Your bathroom may sound great to you when singing in the shower, but it is not good for straight vocals or voiceover. You don't have any control of the level of the reverb from the walls or any of those crazy reflections that may mess with your recordings. If you can, find a place with as much soft furnishing as possible, in a quiet room with windows closed. The smaller the space, the better. You may have seen reporters doing their VOs from under duvets in their hotel rooms. Well, if it gets you a quiet sound, just do it. Proximity to the mic. You need to be nice and close to your mic without too much noise from your room. This is the signal to noise ratio that we've been talking about. Lots of your lovely voice and far less of the noise around you. Now that you're nice and close to your mic, mind your P's and B's. Pronouncing P's and B's cause plosives or pops on your mic and can be a real pain to clean up unless you have the right tools. Now, you should have the following basic kit that'll make you sound more professional. Get the best quality you can afford without putting yourself out of business. Have a look at the second-hand market if budget is an issue. As we said before, you need to reduce the amount of noise that can travel through your microphones. So get a mic stand. On there you should have a suspension mount and a pop shield to help reduce those plosives. By all means use a parabolic screen, but they can give you mixed results. You can't use them just anywhere you want, because you'll always have the sound reflection from the room behind you going onto your mics. Now that you have all your equipment set up, what happens now? Well, you could record to your computer and send the files on to your engineer, or you could use a remote recording system. I've been using a system called Session Link Pro for years. I settled on Session Link Pro after trying out most of the other options because it's affordable, solid, and simple to use. And it can be used for lots of applications because the whole system is so flexible. Session Link Pro is a browser-based system that picks up the mic attached to your computer and records the signal or sends that signal to a person remotely. You also have the option to record both you and the other person, which would be perfect for any two-hander or recording podcasts. On the main page, click on the Record tab. 
You can now record you, you and them, or you and them and a third person listening in. You can also record the remote signals in dual mono, so now you can have two guests. All this with video in a separate tab that you can drag onto another monitor for maybe a bit of ADR or just banter before the session. When you hit the record button, you get a choice to record locally or remotely. Make your choices, hit record, and when you're finished, the browser drops a top quality WAV into your downloads folder for editing or sending on to the production house. Seeing as you're not in a studio with all the top gear around you, you may need to do a little cleanup of your recordings. I'll always suggest that you leave that to the engineer, but if it's something you have to do, you will need a little help. There's software that can help with the cleaning up of noise, plosives, and even mouth clicks. The top of the range is one that is used by all my compadres in Audio Post. It's OR-X by Isotope. It's expensive, but the results are impressive. There's another set of plugins should be worth looking at, and they do a very impressive job for the cost. They come as individual plugins or as a total suite. They're the Aero Bundle from Accusonis, simple to use with really quality results. I'm Keith Alexander, and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, you can comment, or you can share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.